Here we have a simulation of two neurons in Nango. This is much like the simulation of a single neuron. Just to remind you quickly, this is the input. Here we have the subthreshold voltage of the two neurons. These are the spike trains of those two neurons shown over time. And here we have those two neurons shown as if they were on a cortical sheet. And last we have the postsynaptic current that would be induced in a cell that received the signals from these two neurons. Although more appropriately, this can now begin to be thought of as a decoding of the input. In other words, it's supposed to be an estimate of about negative 0.45. This estimate currently is not very good, but it gets much better as we include more neurons. What is of interest here is to note that the neurons respond very differently to the input. As I increase the input, the top neuron begins to fire more, but the bottom neuron begins to fire less. So you can see that the neurons are encoding information about the input in a complementary push-pull fashion. This is not an uncommon feature found in cortex. You can also see that the decoded input is following the input, although it is doing so in a fairly noisy manner. In the neural engineering framework, we refer to the preferences of the cells as their encoders. And so we would say that the top neuron has a positive encoder because as the input goes up, it is more active. And the bottom cell has a negative encoder because as the input goes down, it becomes more active.